A lot of us use the past by David Kilpatrick, uh, Dr. Kilpatrick, the phonological awareness screening test. And I'd like to show you how I uh, keep track of data to make it easier for me. I hate having data that is like scattered on pieces of paper and various documents and pictures around on my computer. So this is what I do. Let me show you. So the screening test as this, and it's published here on the website, thepasttest.com. And if you're familiar with it, there are four forms now on the website. You, I see so many posts with people saying, okay, I did this now, how do I interpret the results? Now I add this together and, and what's this level? And, and anyway, I, I like to make it easier. So this is what I've done. I have a digital version of the test uh, with instructions. The digital version then collects from, you can have up to four tests is the way I have it right now, whether you do beginning of year, middle of year, end of year, or over a course of time, and you get to collect the data of the individual tests and then be able to see growth and, and look at what are the levels passed and make it very visual so you can see what's happening. Anyway, to use this, to use this, I have instructions here on this sheet. This is in Google Sheets. So if you have a Google account, it's accessible. In Google Sheets, down the various sheets are listed down here on the bottom. This is the one that says instructions. So you will go here to read the instructions. The first instruction says make a copy of the file for each student. So keep your master clean and keep making more copies for each student. I will also put out the version that has 30 sheets. So if you're collecting for a, a class, you can collect all the uh, tests for a class for that one time and see how the class is doing. But this is for the individual. So to make a copy, you'd come up here to file, make a copy. It's going to say that there's some functionality on here. Uh, that's okay, it's safe. It's just doing things like copying data over from one sheet into another, but name it whatever you want. You, this is Susie Smith's uh, past record sheet or whatever you want to call it, but make a copy for each child, student, or um, well, for this, this is for the, this is not the group one. So this is for the individual and make a copy. So you keep in your Google Drive the, the clean copy and make a copy for each student. Next, it says enter the student's name and date of birth on the summary sheet in the blue rectangle. The name will transfer to all the individual sheets. So we have to look, here, where is the summary sheet? You can see it down here, and I actually have it marked green to make it easier to find. Go to the summary sheet, and you're gonna put in the student's name here, and it will transfer. So this is student A, or student one, let's say. That's the student's name and the date of birth. You can put that in, it'll transfer. And that transfers here to each sheet. Now this looks very much like the test that's uh, on the website. It is all the exact same words and I tried to organize it so it looks very much the same. There are a few differences, which I'll point out. Okay, you're gonna enter the name of the test if you uh, you want to administer the test according to the instructions on the website, I've got the link here. So you can go right to the website and look at the instructions. The correct verbiage for each line is in the drop down menu indicated by the down arrow. So I will show you this here. On here, it say, oh, let's see, I don't remember what to say for this line. Rather than write it out and take up so much space for each item, uh, I have it in a drop down menu. All drop down menus are with this little arrow right here. And it can say, say bookcase, now say bookcase, but don't say book. So it's the exact same verbiage that's on the instructions. It's just here in this drop down. And then the error correction if you say bookcase without saying book, you get case. So it's written here what to say, just as it is on the test. Now, once you drop it down, you can click level D again or to get out of it, or you can hit escape to get out of it. Okay, here's the difference. When you score this, if it is correct, hit correct. If it is automatic, check automatic. 
do not check both, only check one. So within two seconds, it is automatic, you check that. If it's incorrect, obviously you check nothing. So if the student gets it correct, but beyond the two seconds, you check correct. If it is automatic, only check the automatic, don't check both. And all the totals are collected for you and transferred to the summary. So you go through each test, give the test just as you would in person. And this is written just about exactly like he has it on the test. Uh, so the instructions are here, what to say, say went, now say went, but don't say t, you get when, okay? And it's either correct or automatic. So correct is first, then automatic. And then it would answer up. If you like to have all of your verbiage printed out in front of you, I have it down here on this tab right here, verbiage and feedback. So if you're giving form A, you can highlight this area here, print it off, and you can have it in front of you. There, print that and you've got it. Or B or C or D. I wouldn't print the whole thing because then you get this massive thing and it's, where are you? But you can print out the section that you are giving. So the way I have it set up right now, Test one is form A. Test the second test is form B, et cetera. If you've already been giving this test to the students, you can just copy your answers into here and it will transfer so you can have data over time. Um, the words are occasionally different between this version and the 2018 version, but I think the 2018 version has the same number of items in each test. If you have the even older version, some of them don't have the same number of uh, items and it wouldn't transfer, so I'm sorry I can't help you with that one. Let's say you've given the test, you've already given test the test once and you've given it a second time, but you use form A again. I have instructions here on how to copy it over. If, if you need to copy over, say, oh, I've given the test twice. The first test was A, the second test is A. I need to put the words from test form A back into test number two. Uh, go to the sheet labeled by the form you used. For instance, down here, you see form A, and you can scroll form A, B, C, or D. You're going to highlight cells E8 through M51. In other words, you're going to highlight here the words. The instructions, you know, you're going to highlight the words like that. Control C to copy it. And let's say, let's go and, you know, you want to paste it into. Uh, test number two. So you just come and paste it into here. So the words would transfer from the form into test two and then change this to say it was form A again. I did not write how, you know, if you put in form A, it grabs that. That's too big and hairy. It's easy enough to copy and paste. And again, if you used a different form, just copy those words over into what you did use. But then ongoing, if you are giving the test fresh, you can go in, test A is set up for form A, sorry, test one is form A, test two is form B, et cetera, three and four. Once you've given the test, all that data, let's see, to get back, see how I can't see summary? To get back, I can scroll left to see it, or you go to the, the button, the Big Mac, as someone calls it, the the master button here that says all sheets, you go there and say, yeah, I wanna go to instructions or I wanna go to summary there. And you can find it from here always, even if it's extended beyond where you, what you can see. So all of that information will be transferred into the test and you will get your scores of, here's possible, correct and automatic uh, for each level, basic level. It'll tell you the highest correct level It'll tell you these are the ones you've passed. If it's passed, it turns green. And you can see visually which ones have not been passed or which ones are not automatic. And then it will give you an approximate 
uh, grade level based on what's been passed here. So, you know, there's some gray area in here about, well, if it's mostly this, but not quite, it's within this area, but it gives you an approximate uh, grade level. And most important, you'd be able to see growth over time. So this is what I do, and I find it helpful to have the data in a way that I can see what's happening. I can look and say, yeah, we're doing well, we're passing all of these, and you know what, we're still having trouble at this point. Um, and even if we haven't passed it, if I can see an improvement in the numbers, that gives me data. So this is what I do, and I hope that it's helpful for you. It is available in my TPT store. As usual, if you have any questions, write to me. I am Emily Laidlaw. My email is your.tutoring.solutions at gmail.com. It is written on the instructions. I just like to add that I am not infringing on any copyright material with this. I wrote to the publisher. They asked, they said that uh, Dr. Kilpatrick would have to give approval since he has the copyright. He gave approval to distribute or sell this, which, um, so it's okay. His only stipulation was to refer everyone to the pasttest.com website for any instruction on how to administer the test. All right, thanks.